guys, Blackout Bill here. Thanks for coming back to the channel. Today we got some fun stuff for you. Just want to thank you for 800. We hit 800. So you guys get high fives, high, high air pounds, however you want to do it. Appreciate every single one of you. If you're watching this video, you probably aren't a subscriber yet. Please click it so I can get to 1,000 and shut up about it. Uh, that being said, we got some new projects. Let's check them out. Okay, here's something new. Three horsepower Nissan Tahatsu. Is that what they call it? I don't know. NSB Nissan motor. Cute little motor. Simple little three horsepower long shaft. Lower unit stuck. So, messed with one bolt. Salt corrosion. Stuck. Messed with another bolt. Salt corrosion. Stuck. Messed with another bolt. Salt corrosion. Stuck. Lower unit is held on by too many factors. Um, the drive shaft was not fused into the power head like I originally thought. That's why I took the power head off to see if I could slip it out of there. So I got the power head off. So we still got a nice power head. But what we're going to have to do to this is we're going to have to drill and tap this hole so we can mount the screw there. And then we're going to have to find a new section here, a midsection for the long shaft. And this lower unit is gone because we lost all of our fins and the whole back piece here. So what we're going to have to do is either find another three horsepower Tatsu or find another three horsepower long shaft to fix for this gentleman who left it for me. And uh, we'll go from there. So right now I'm still trying to get this lower unit unstuck because I would like to put the power head back on so we can still use the midsection and we can get rid of this uh, extension here and we can take use the guts from the lower unit uh, if we have to to put in the new lower unit of the newer motor. So three horsepower Nissan motor, really simple to work on. If you want to ever drop the unit in your, if you ever want to drop the lower unit and you know it's not stuck, you just pull this rubber piece out of here, you undo the shift linkage, this bolt here, and uh, uh, this one here, this is the nut that goes on here, and this normally slides right out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat it up and see if we can, because I believe this nut here is stuck into this section here. I think that's the last piece that's frozen on. Once that comes loose, this lower unit should drop. So we're gonna hit it with more heat. I've been working on this for three or four days now, just trying to break this thing free, and it's just not coming. See how the bolt's heating up cherry red? I want to get that heat all the way up through that center section. This way hopefully the two metals separate. Coming. I'm actually going to hit it in the middle. See if we can get that section cherry red on the inside. I won't be able to see it because it's aluminum encased around the metal bolt. But I might be able to get it hot enough. A nice solid uh, whack might uh, separate those salt, those salt uh, crystals, corrosion in there get this thing to finally come off. It's a shame. It's a cute little motor. It's just, it never had a prayer. Pieces were already broken off when I got it. And uh, just too much salt. Sat in salt water for too long. And the reason it came to me was because it was overheating or what? it stopped spitting water. It stopped spitting water, so you try to take the lower unit off to change the impeller and the lower unit just stuck on there. Um, and you can see the power has got uh, the bubbling of paint starting to come off. So it probably just ran a little hot. And once the water stopped spitting, they knew it. They tried to fix it. And unfortunately, this lower unit was basically seized on. We're going to try to break it free just so we can find some replacement parts. And we'll go from there. Nothing's ever a lost cause around here. Except for myself. <laughs> Let's see if we can waste time. Pick. I'm just trying to in there. I see stuff's falling out, you know. Trying to get this sugar coating. It's all around this bolt here to come out. Unfortunately, my rubber mallet is missing. It should just kind of flop down. It's gonna eventually. my if I can get my rubber, let me find my rubber mallet just kind of bang down on it I'm just kind of vibrating right now just to see if I can loosen up any of those loosen up some of them crystals in there say so come on come on Nissan why don't you come down I don't want to touch it honestly 
get in there. Any particle, I'm going to lose free. In progress. So, we've been banging this thing, we've been heating this thing, we've been wedging this thing, we've been doing everything possible, thinking it was the drive shaft. It's this bolt here the whole time. It was just seized up in there. So we cut this one and we cut this one. We'll have to see if we can drill and tap and put everything back together. But I did get it apart. <laughs> I've seen a live shot here. Wow, what a job. Let me tell you, this was not fun. Not at all. It was all seized up in here. So I finally was able to get a wedge underneath it. And it slid down, finally. So we can get the lower unit out now. Which was not fun. And it's still seized in there. It's just, again, it's just time salt water. These things never come out easy, uh, with difficulty. And this one's just, oh, here's your... And here, yeah, and this was this was the other problem. So it was overheating. Uh, my man noticed that it was not pumping water right. The plastic piece of the housing has cracked off. Now, was that because of the... No. Nothing to do with the shift linkage, just a piece here. Oh, the water tube itself, no. Oh. Oh, that's new itself. Okay, no, so the water tube didn't want to slide out here. They always slide out, and it hooked onto the top of the motor and broke the, the housing. So now the water, now the water pump housing is shot. <laughs> wow, what a freaking job! This was nuts, man. Like even these things, they slide out. It falls out. Like, even though it's done, it's just wow. Falling apart in my hands. Literally falling apart in my hands. This motor never had a chance. Well, the lower unit never had a chance. The power head looks great. Still very difficult to come out. Cannot, and I still don't know why. It's just in there. Everything's disconnected. Here's your shift linkage. <laughs> Yeah, so my man's gonna need a lower unit. Now it's definitely gonna need a lower unit. There's no point buying a water pump housing for this. Wow, all the way out. Man, she cuts. I'm trying not to break the water tube. All right, that's crazy. This is legit nuts. You can see it's here. So the sooty exhaust and the troublesome coming out indicates to me is a bad lower crank seal in the motor. That's the only thing I can think of. Oh my goodness. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, it's it's all gummed up in there. So whether it's grease, soot from the lower crank seal, uh, it's definitely lower crank shaft seal or lower. Lower seals creating all this gook gunk and everything else, and just leading to a very sticky condition. But the lower unit's out, and even though it's in pieces. <laughs> so let's see if we can bring this motor back to life. It'll be a miracle. This piece should have fallen off by now. There's nothing holding on this bolt. Is, see, that's how, that's how salt corroded rough with this piece, this, this unit is. It's just, it's fused. Everything is fused together. Uh, this bolt, this section here, was fused to the lower unit, stopping it from dropping out. Usually the, the drive shaft is stuck in the power head, but this one's got this long, you know, bolt. And then we got the connecting bolt here, which needs to be drilled out and tapped so that when we get a lower unit, we'll be able to attach it there. All right, and then you're still going to have this big piece missing, but that'll just be a louder exhaust port. This part will most likely be underwater because the water, the water sprays out here. This is where your water comes out, and there's also a telltale tube on this one on the motor out there so this can be saved we got to find a lower unit to fit and then we got to drill this piece out and be able to mount it uh, and then we could obviously use all the parts from the lower unit itself it's just the lower unit itself is <laughs> come apart in pieces so we successfully removed the lower unit on the Tahatsu let's uh, clean it up a little bit we'll take this rope off clean up the base here we'll pop the power head back on 
water tubes in nice condition. We'll clean out the water channels here, so when we do get a nice water pump on it, it'll float nice and clean. The motor power head itself looks great. Uh, I'm actually going to recommend that the guy who dropped it off put in a uh, lower unit seal, or I may just do it. I'll just do it myself real quick. Got to find one online. Uh, but that's it. So you can see, you know, the water channels. You can see I'm an idiot. You can see the water channels are very corroded with salt. Just like the lower unit. That's why this thing was all beat up. But it'll clean up nice. And uh, we'll just have to drill out the bolt hole in the one on the lower half. Just so we, when we do find a lower unit, we'll be able to bolt it right up. So that's it on the Tahatsu. Uh, thank you guys for checking this motor out. Not much to it. We're almost at 1,000. Again, thank you for 800. We'll see you when we get there. Check in the next video.